How's it going today, guys? Thanks for tuning back in. Thanks for coming and stopping by. Today we got a quick product review going down. Uh, it's going to be the Harry's 2 cartridge, 1 razor handle, blade, razor. I'm going to do a review on it. I like Harry's. I love Harry's. I'm going to do a review on this Harry's. been trying them out for a while now, using them. I won't go back to Bic, you guys, or anything else. So we'll do a review on this one. I'm already favorable towards that. I've been using them for the last two years. And we'll do a review on this King C Gillette, the Boston edition. Uh, it's one of the Gillette razors, one of the nicer razors. You can pick them up. They're available in Walgreens. And this puppy right here is a smoker, you guys. I love this one, too. These are my two favorite. Today, we're going to see which one pans out to be the king. I really like these two, you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in, dig in, and see what's to these puppies. Now, I believe you can get these razors uh, roughly. I have to check the pricing. I'll check the pricing, but I think they're between uh, 10 and 20 bucks. 10 and 20 bucks each. Um, I do like the boxing of this one. This one's the bright orange Harry's. I know about them. Um, they came out, uh, Harry's hairline came out a couple years ago with the penny um, or dollar razors. Um, I just buy mine from Walgreens. But I can tell you, after using an American, um, after being a Bic user, just using Bic razors, um, you know, the pack that you get for maybe like $8, they get six of them, six disposable razors in there. Three blades, three, four blades are better than what I tend to use. You switch over from one of those, those Bics to one of these, you can tell the precision in the blades. You can tell the reason, the reasoning behind why they cost more because... I kid you not, either, before we get into the review, either or of these will last you a year. I kid you not. Not being nasty or dirty or trying to get bumps or anything, these razors are just that good. I mean, the precision, the quality, the blades, they hold up, they stay sharp, they don't bump you up. You guys, we're finna dig into it. I'm finna take you in there and we're finna see what these puppies can do. So, let's get to it. Okay, you guys, but before we do that, let's do an unboxing and let's do an opening demonstration. Check out how these puppies look. Okay. This one I already propped open a little bit. I already propped this one up. Open. Got them out the box. So he comes in a, comes in a nice little case like this. Nice sturdy tray. I want to tell you right out the gate. The precision and, and the craftsmanship on the the actual razor itself is prestige. Feels like a rubber handle. It holds up well. It's good hard plastic with a nice durable grip over it. It comes with this extra cartridge um, carry travel case. When you're done with your razor, you just stick it in there, stick it in the um, in the cabinet or wherever you keep your razors, and you go from there. It also comes with the the clip and one backup one extra cartridge which I tell you this is a year worth of shaving and I if I'm if you're like anything like me I shave three four times a week every other day you know every other day every third day I shave just you know I'm, I'm, I'm that type of shaver so trust me I'm, I'm doing three shaves a week four shaves a week with these puppies and the blade just keeps on coming has this little pop-off feature where you could just pop it off and change the cartridge. So, Harry's, I like the color, like the feel of it. They're pretty, pretty flush, pretty, you know, I've been using them for a while. We're gonna go in the bathroom and see what these puppies can really do, but so far, so good. You get the nice box, you can tell these things are, you know, they come with a nice boxes and everything. I know this is not about the other products, but I wanted to let you guys know, I have been using Harry's for a minute now. I'm not getting paid for them, you guys, but I just want to show you the products that I do have and that I do stand behind these products that I'm reviewing, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. I think you're going to be surprised. Stay around to the end. I got a couple of tips, and I think you guys are going to be shocked. So here's the Harry's shaving cream that I use, um, and I'll let you know the shaving cream. All of the Harry's, I think they, they um, use in their ingredients some type of peanut butter or oatmeal because all of the products seem oatmeal -y. Oatmeal in me. I think that's a good facial scrub and a good product for your skin. So I think that's the reasoning behind the oatmeal texture of it. It's really good. I mean, it's really good quality. 
This is a shaving cream with eucalyptus, um, comforts and protects. I've used it a couple of times. I still like my Gillette or my Nivea shaving cream, but to have the full brand and get the full experience of the Harry's razor, I got their shaving cream, pretty good. I love their face wash. Again, this is one that I think has the oatmeal in it. It's the face wash with the peppermint. Um, gently uh, exfoliates. It exfoliates. So I do have the face wash also. I use the face wash, face wash more than I do the shaving, shower, um, shaving cream. I use the other shaving cream, but I have both. And I really like their balm. Their post-shave balm, the Harry's post smells so sophisticated very manly smell and i love the fact that this is my key um love loving thing about it is that it's just the right balance of oil and moisture i don't know some of those oils too oily some of them dry out too quick i will say this harry's post shave balm with aloe it has the right balance i mean it gives me the right gloss that i'm looking for but not over oily so Shout out to Harry's for that, having a good post-shave balm. Side note, you guys, I know you're not really here for that. We're here for the razors and the razor blades. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. So next, you guys, you guys can see me all right. Next is the Gillette. Gillette. An edging razor with five premium blades and precision trimming for edging. I love this blade, you guys. Take it from a guy who's been, you know, bald for a minute. I love this blade. This blade is awesome, guys. Let's open it up. I love it. I know I just said I love Harry's. I love Harry's. Harry's was the first blade that I um, spent some money on when I was, you know, getting rid of those cheap blades. Harry's was the first way that I went. But next, oh baby, look at that baby there. This is a Gillette blade. We all know Gillette, one of the pillars of shaving. Super grip, super good grip. Uh, comes in a box by itself. I was saying, it comes in a box on its own. Um, comes in a box that has a couple of extra cartridges. If you open the box up and you dig into the bottom part, You'll be able to get to the extra blades. Ah, Gillette, Gillette. All right. Now, I said five extra blades, but I only see, let me read the box. I only see one extra cartridge. It's not an extra blade. We have five premium blades. I'm sorry, you guys. This is a five-blade razor. So this, this puppy is a five-blade razor. Ooh, that puppy is nice. And this is five blade. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't even know what, what, what I was working with. We both are work. We're both are five blades. We're both going over these five blade razors today. Harry's and the Gillette. So the, each one comes with its own extra cartridge. The Gillette wins on grip and durability. It has grip. The size is about this. Harry's a little bit bigger, a little fatter head. Um, both are five blades. The grip goes to the Gillette. I think the Gillette. Oh, they both, they only pivot to the back. They both have the pivot. I thought it had the the, the side to side pivot on the Gillette, but it doesn't. It just tilts back like the Harry's. All right. You tell me. Color goes to the Harry's. The grip goes to the Gillette. Let's take these puppies in the bathroom and see what they really can do. I love to see what grazers you guys are using down below. Let me know what you like. Um, you know, what's your preference as far as shaving and shavers? Do those electric shavers really work for you guys? I've always had a bald head, but I've yet to have an uh, electric shaver. You guys let me you guys let me know down in the comments below if these things really work. I got a Phillips Norelco in. I might do a review on this, baby. Um, you guys let me know if you want to see a review on this. I'm fairly new to these electrical razors. I'm not really good at them. I don't know if they work. I never use them. I'm a straight razor guy. I don't use these kind. But let me know if you guys tell me that they're better than what I'm using now. I might break into it and give it a try. And we'll do a review on that, guys. You let me know what you think. But let's get to the bathroom and get gritty. I need a shave. Oh. 
All right, you guys, let's get started. Again, today we're going to cover the Harry's versus the King Gillette Blade on a shave off and see how these puppies can do. Hope everybody's having a good time out there today. We're going to have a good time today. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know what procedure or process you guys like to use. I like to wipe my wet my face first, wash my face, wet my face. I'm going to go with the Harry's. Let's try the Harry's shaving cream, you guys, on one half, on one side. Just pick this side right here, my face. As you can see, it's it's a little pasty. It's not as rich and creamy as this um this Nivea for me, and I'm going to use. I think you can see the consistency of it. It's like a white pasty kind of product. Um, Smells like you got oatmeal in it, like I commented on before. So we'll remember on my left side, I have the Harry's shaving cream. And on my right side today, we're going to be trying out the Nivea Men shaving gel. Even though this video is on the razors, as you can see, this is a foam gel versus the the Harry's shaving cream. You can just see the difference in the two. I like these foams. It doesn't take a lot and you get a lot longer usage out of your product because your, your shave, it doesn't take that much so this stuff lasts a lot longer. We're gonna try the Gillette on the right and the Harry's on the left. So we're gonna do the Harry's first with his own shaving cream, you guys. We're using the shit. It's own shaving cream. So this side has Nivea shaving cream. This one has Harry's shaving cream. And we're going to start with the Harry's um, five blade um, razor, two cartridges. Remember, see how this one works out for us first. Sorry about that. Nice looking blade, you guys. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Smooth, subtle strokes. Oh, right away you can tell this baby is sharp. Right away. Right away you can tell this baby is cut in. Like I say, guys, I, I went from using a big razor blade to using the uh, Harry's. Um, and right away I can tell the difference. Um, I went maybe three years of my, my first balding um, for my lifestyle when I first started to go bald. I went, I, I went about three years just using big razors. I didn't know any better. I just used big razors. And, uh, yeah, so that's all I really knew for like three years. You know, I'd get the, six, I'd get the $10 big six pack and I'd be good to go. So, you guys, I think that this hairy blade is the German blade. I have to do my research on it. But, oh my goodness, does this blade cut? It cuts pretty smooth. When I first got um, someone, a uh, girlfriend of mine first introduced me to it, I know guys, it's a shame that, you know, our girlfriend has to introduce us to, to, to stuff. You need to treat yourself, not cheat yourself. So, any guys out there, I recommend before your girl goes bad for you, go bad for yourself. It's a really good blade. I'm not having to cut myself, not once with it, but this baby is sharp. I kid you not, guys, you go buy one of these, and you let me know how long you had your hairy blade for. Or even one of these blades for the, um, that purpose. Both of these blades hold up pretty good over, over the time lifespan. So, got this side pretty even. I'm getting good, guys. I don't even need a back mirror anymore for my head. I can just cut now. I remember I used to have the have the mirror and holding it, man, I can just stick my hand back there and feel where it's not cutting and move on. But I think that's pretty smooth on this side. That was the Harry's. Nice smooth cut. I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. You know, it's nothing I don't like about it. Like I say, I have been using this razor, this Harry's brand for a, for a while now, you guys. But... For some reason, I'm more fond to this Gillette. Now, the Gillette is more grippy 
does have a little bit more spring action in the hairies. But for some reason, I don't know. Maybe it's in my head. Oh yeah, one take. One take, it just melts that hair like butter. Shout out to the Gillette. One take, it's melting that hair like butter. Now both of these razors will last you six months, one blade, without changing it out. Both of these will last you a nice amount of time, but this Gillette blade, I kid you not guys, this thing is just cutting like butter. Like butter. I mean, the hair is cutting like butter too, but I had I could feel the hair and I have to go back over it with this one. One down, and it's not messing around. One time down, man, this thing is, I don't know what they, they, they did a good job with this blade. Both of these products, blades are great for the life, uh, life, the lifetime that you get with these products. I mean, for you to get a blade and use a blade for as long as I use this blade for it, come on now. Kid you not, guys. Kid you not. And this is how we do it. This is how we get pretty, guys. Let them know this is how we get pretty. Today we're doing a review on the Harry's. Harry's Five Blade versus the Gillette Five Blade. Gillette Five Blade is the one I'm currently using. We just, you know, if you like me, you got the genetics where, you know, you weren't blessed with all that good health. So you might got to shave, you know, regularly. You want to have a good blade. You don't want to be struggling, cutting your hair. You don't want to have an old, dirty blade. Oh, dull. Don't, never cut yourself with a dull blade. If you start to get razor bumps back here, switch out your blade. Use some alcohol, some peroxide after you do your shave. And, and switch out to a new blade. If you start to um, if you start to get any type of bumps and stuff. So guys, I'm liking this Gillette. I'm liking this Gillette, guys. I won't lie to you, the Gillette is for some reason I don't know if the Harry's is too sharp, but the Gillette is just smooth. It's just a smooth. I don't know though. The Harry's did his job though. I'm not picking up any hair on the Harry side. So that hairy, that hairy blade is a, is a, is a cutter, baby. That's a cutter. But this Gillette is smooth. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to find out how much these blades cost. They retail in the store. I know you can get either one of them at Walgreens or your local Walmart, any place like that. It's nothing fancy. But for life, the lifetime that you're going to have these blades, you don't have to worry about anything. If you have to pay $20 for a blade, it's worth it, guys. I kid you not, I was, buying, I was buying those big blades at least a six pack a month, guys. That's $12 I was spending a month on, bl on blades that weren't really worth it. They weren't anything compared to these blades. So I get less razor bumps, I get a smoother shave, and it's less tough or less, less work for me when I have to shave. So you guys, that's how you do it. That's how you do a nice smooth shave too. Um, me, I've been shaving for about the last six, seven, almost going on ten years, man. And um, you know, I don't have very, that much problem with bumping up, bumping up, guys. But um, you know, I do get some bumps sometimes. I just have some of this um, razor cream. I'll show you guys in a minute. I put back there, and it in the day or two, day or three, three days, the bump they might, you know, I can feel them sometimes. Then I put the cream. And it smooths them out. So I'm not sure if you can see them. My girlfriend said you can see them, but they're not bumpy. So, you know, that's better for me. As long as I don't feel them, I, I feel like I'm happy. But I don't think you can see them too much either, you know. You guys see any bumps? I don't know. But yeah, guys, you guys let me know how much you're paying on razors and what razor blades you use and how do you stay smooth. Do you do you use a, a razor like this or do you use an electric um, shaver device? You guys let me know in the comments below. I'm eager to, to find out because I've never used one of those shavers. Uh, I use liners sometimes, my trimmers, to get my beard to trim it up even more than this. But as far as the smoothness goes, I just use a straight razor, guys. So, yeah. That was um, pretty much the review for the day, you guys. I hope you guys hung in there to the end. It was the Harry's 
versus the uh, King Gillette. Um, this Harry's razor, you guys, um, very good, very, very good. I'm um, happy with it. Um, I'm, I'm not disappointed at all. The price and the quality and what I got, I'm happy with. I do. I, I will give the Gillette five stars. I'll give four to the Harry, five to the Gillette, um, the King C Gillette, that is. This is not just any old Gillette. This is the King C Gillette brand. I'll give it five stars just because it felt better in my hand and it just it just cut those hairs just a tad bit smoother than the Harry did. So I'll give it five stars and I'll give four to the Harry's. Um, I'll have a couple of links down below. You guys can go check out these products and, and um, see you know how much they cost and where you can get you some. I might have even a discount code at the bottom that you can get a couple of dollars off. Give me a thumbs up, guys, and let me know what other products you want me to review in the future. Like I say, if you want me to go over a um, electric uh, shaver, a razor, you want to see how I line my beard up, leave comments below. Let me know, guys. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Peace. Ball heads out.